Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with colours. So what we're going to do in this video is to change the colour of the car. So you can see the car on screen is currently blue. So we're going to use the highlighting tools that we've used previously. So over on the toolbar I've got uh, the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool will not work on the car because it's got shades, it's got reflections. So we're not going to use the magic wand tool, we're going to use the quick selection tool to highlight uh, the bonnet. So I'm going to select my quick selection tool and I'm going to change the nib size. So this is important. So you can see up here at the moment my nib size is 8. I'm going to drag it up to about 35-ish, something like that. And now you can see the size of the, of the nib on the screen. And you can see that there's a plus on that nib. That means that when I start selecting with the left mouse button, it's going to select uh, these areas. So you can see that I've selected. But you can see up here it, doesn't, it hasn't included this part. So I need to go across and make sure that I've selected all the relevant parts of the car. So I'm going to select all the bonnet first. Okay, and you can see down here, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see this. You can see this also selected the headlight, but well, I don't want that. So I'm going to use the Alt key. And if you look at the little circle, you can see that there's a minus now appears in there. And I can unselect parts of what I've selected. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to select the rest of the car, the rest of the bodywork of the car. And then I'm going to look at how to change the colour. So you can see I've missed a bit off here. So I'm just going to select up there, select there. Okay, I'm going to unselect this black area here. Okay, on the fairing on the bottom of the car. Okay, and as I zoom in using uh, the Alt key and the scroll wheel, underneath the lip of the bonnet, you can see there's a little uh, bit there that's not been done. So I'm going to take my nib size down to about eight or nine, and then I can. It's a smaller nib size, so I can now be more accurate with uh, my selection. Okay, so I'm going to go around and I'm just going to select these parts of the car. Okay, right, that'll do me for now. So what I'm going to ask you to do now then is to uh, come down to the bottom of the layer. I'll zoom out. Come down to the bottom of the layer. Okay, so there's my background layer. At the bottom here, I've got this this uh, layer mask tool. So I'm going to click this little button and I'm going to ch choose Hue Saturation. And what that's going to allow me to do is to change the colours. The one thing I haven't done here is highlight that mirror. So I'm just going to go back quickly and do that. So let's uh, take the size of my nib back up slightly and select the mirror. There we go. I'm going to hold that. Just take that little bit out there. Okay, so again, Hue Saturation. And now using the sliders, I should be able to change the color of the car. I'm going to colorize the car, which gives me more control. Okay, and now you can see up here, I've got the different hues of the color that I've chosen here. And there's the saturation there. Okay, so I can change the color of the car using those sliders. So once you've done that, what I would like you to do is to uh, use those techniques on another image. Um, and that image uh, is of your choice. So you can go onto the internet, find an image, and I want you to pick out parts of an image, and I want you to, uh, to colorize different sections of that image.